Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another Indie Comics Review. I am your host, Lorenzo, and uh, this time I'm going to do Hellboy and the BPRD uh, and the Seven Wives Club. Uh, this is by Mike Mignola and Adam Hughes. Now, when I saw this, these, this creative team, I was really excited about uh, what it was going to be because I like both of those guys. And I love the cover work of, of Adam Hughes. And I also just finished uh, reading and reviewing uh, Hellboy and Fearless Dawn uh, just a couple of weeks ago. So I figured, okay, it's going to be great. So let's get started. The Hellboy and the Seven Wires Club begins with um, what they're talking about is there was this in Savannah, Georgia in 1992, uh, Hellboy and one of his. Uh, his uh, assistants, his partners from the BPRD, yeah, what is her name, gosh, uh, Pauline Raskin, BPRD field agent since 1987. So she's been with them a few years since before this occurred. And there was an incident in the early 1920s where this psycho guy, probably some kind of a uh, black magic guy, uh, evil guy, he had seven wives and he had them all burned in his house uh, at the same time he hanged himself and uh, the legend that the house is haunted and so forth uh, and that's what uh, Hellboy is there to investigate because this this girl this young young girl who just loves to hang out in haunted houses uh, ends up killing her boyfriend and uh, now she's up for murder and she's explaining to Hellboy that I didn't do it it was uh, you know the ghost made me do it and so forth and he didn't you know, it looked like it was the guy who killed his wife, this was wives, rather than her boyfriend that she was shooting at the time. And, and uh, that's how she was fooled. Hellboy believes her, and uh, him and Pauline investigate this, this incident by seeking out the descendant of one of the, um, actually, one of the wives. This, this, the story is that after um, this, this psycho was, 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 was uh, after he hanged himself, he was nobody wanted him. His body was up for grabs. So these uh, this this school of uh, was founded for, for lady doctors takes his body in uh, to to work on you know to a, as a, as a cadaver. And of course, for shits and giggles, they end up stealing it and stashing it in the a secret room in the uh, in <laughs> in the school and getting a little clubhouse together and call themselves. The, the uh, they get their wine and get their drink on, and uh, they call themselves the Seven Wives Club. So after this incident occurs, after they desecrate the, uh, this evil guy's body, bad shit starts to happen to all of them. Now, there's a car accident, somebody's fall down a flight of stairs and breaks their neck. You know, horrible things happen to these women. Um, so. so the guy is saying that hey, this this is this bad mojo is still going on in this place. Let's go let's go find out what's going on and uh, somehow clear this girl who's uh, accused of murder. So the old man uh, and the, the two investigators go to the go to the uh, the school the the, the, the school the, the the secret sisters of the Marne or the sisters of the Marne I believe is the name of the school uh, the doctors uh, the lady doctor school and they go in to investigate. The old man gets scared, he's spooked, he runs out. So that leaves Hellboy and Pauline inside to, uh, to investigate. And then the apparitions start to appear. And then there's a lot of um, back and forth with, um, between the two. Uh, and they figure out how to get out of this, uh, long story short. And it was, it's, and, and it's really, not as, as as detailed as I thought it was going to be. It's just really not a. I, don't know, I mean, it's another one of these stories. I wish I could. I wish I could recommend, but I can't. Um, usually, when I do a, a review, I like the story. That's why I only do reviews of stuff that I like. So you see me doing a review. I probably like the story. I probably like the book. I probably can recommend the book. Uh, this week, there's two indie books I really cannot recommend, and this one was a five dollar book. You know, I, I pre-ordered it and everything. Uh, I saw my two, two of my favorite creators on it. And I, I, think, I feel like it's kind of maybe, maybe phoned it in. I hate to say it. But um, I was left with the... Uh, it didn't like, oh, wow, that was that was awesome. You know, that was, that was a pretty... 
uh, this interesting story. Uh, it was pedestrian probably at best, even though the artwork uh, by uh, uh, Hughes is great because I'm used to seeing him, seeing him only do covers. He does an entire book and he does a great job with the book. So it's very well done. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's my fault. <laughs> but all I can do is offer my own opinion. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great artwork. Um, I wouldn't say that uh, Manuel did a great job writing it. Uh, he usually does a good job. I actually enjoyed Fearless Dawn and Hellboy eating pancakes in the forest more than I enjoyed this book. I mean, what's up with that? <laughs> I, I just did. Because that was, that was something that caught me off guard. This was just like, okay, Spook shows up, Spook get vanquished, and uh, the end, and you know, give me $5. You know, so what can I tell you, folks? I mean, just being honest here. Um, Hellboy and the BPRD and the Seven Wives Club, not my favorite, I have to say. So, um, that being said, <laughs> that is all for this Indie Comics review. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you can know when I'm doing another Indie Comics review or um, comic book unboxing or a haul video or whatever. So, I'll see you next time in my next video, and thanks for stopping by. Hey! Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.